Only a few men of God in the world can do what Prophet Joshua Iginla did in this video. I want you to watch this video to the very end and pay serious attention to everything Prophet Joshua Iginla said in this video. Honestly, this is the first time of coming across this video. And after watching this video, I won't lie to you. My respect and regard for Prophet Joshua Iginla just went from hundreds to like one million. Honestly, this video... I'm still shocked. I'm still shocked. Let me not just wait to waste your time. Let me just allow what the video and listen to everything he said in this video. Please don't forget to share with also share the platform, share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. I have to talk because I hardly sleep. My blood pressure is going up and I don't want to leave this world before my time. And I know you, you know I'm a gift to you and the body of Christ. It's so painful that when men of God go through strike, you are quick to throw the stone, abuse them, say all sorts of insults to them. It's good. We will receive it as a cross. Because that's part of our battle in life. There's no man of God at my level who wants to pray, to go through trials in marriage or battles in marriage. Nobody will want to pray to, to, to have a collapsed marriage or a collapsed family. Nobody. Now when you get to a level where you see some circumstances that are beyond you, you have to pray. That's why I say pray for leaders. Pray for them. Pray for them. Maybe I might be the first man of God doing this in this fashion. That is how I'm led to do it. And I, I want you to throw your stone at me, abuse me, insult me. I will receive it. But I want to stay alive, if not for you, for my destiny. I am a mother in the Lord. We met and uh, we had a wonderful marriage. And before we started, we started by checking our genotype. She was AA, I was AS. It's difficult for me to say, but I have to say it this way and stop at a particular point. And then we had our first daughter, a wonderful child. And eventually we discovered she was sickle cell anemia. I received, you've seen me pray for people here with sickle cell anemia and God has been doing miracles. I saw it as a a battle and a challenge for me as your father which is a trial of faith for me which is not a problem not a problem at all i embraced my daughter and we had good time in my family and that's all we flowed with my wife and everything was okay and then discovered in the course of time that she was actually as and as no problem it was not a battle but one thing led to another thing something happened which I don't want to go into those details. And what happened is what will make a man to divorce his wife, scripturally, I had the backing for that. I had to cover it up to make sure that my marriage moved with your mother. And that led to so many things. So many things. You see, because I'm a man of God, I cannot divorce my wife. Because if I do, all of you will say a man of God is divorcing his wife. I chew it as a pill. But eventually it brought an unholy child into the matrimony. Which became a pill for me to chew. I'm not wanting you to judge my wife or judge anything. I just want you to just know. It led to that and brought me. We had serious battles here and there. Families, interventions and everything. We covered it. We would have not gotten to this point today if my wife had listened to me when we had the battle. I also went out and have a child outside wedlock. And then it became a battle in the family. And so this battle has become a big one that both some men of God are taking advantage of this battle of that battle and sons who are under me who are very bad i feed on this battle we've tried i've tried for seven years to stable the vehicle but it has not been i want you to take the blame to be on me but i want you to know that it started from this point to that point as it is now it has become a pain because when your wife begins to fight you on everywhere you go, insulting you, throwing, I told her, I said, don't fight me, let's solve this problem 
in the secret. If we cannot solve it, I'll come to the world, I'll confess my sin to the world, receive the insult, and end the marriage. And that is what I'm doing today. Because the battle is bad. He has pushed me to this point today that I'm confessing to the whole world. I want the world to know. I want you to insult me, but I said the day I open up to the world of what she because this battle didn't start as if Papa started the battle. She pushed me to this, and um, I covered her up, and I did not divorce her. And when mine came, she threw me to the wall, sending everywhere I go. My wife is calling people, telling people, sending pictures, sending this. I feel it's so bad because I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping at all. And then children who don't know my story are insulting me unnecessarily. I felt I want to end the struggle. I want it to be on media. Insult me the way you want to insult me. I accept the blame. I'm not going to fight my wife. I'm not going to fight her. But I've said the day you push me, I pleaded with her for seven years. I've knelt down. I begged her. I pleaded. But she chose to make me a laughing stock before people. And I said to her, the day I come up to the air and say this thing to the people, it marks the end of the union. Because if you cannot cover me in this place. Can I, can I talk? If you are not in my shoe, if you are not in my shoe, you will not be able to talk the way I'm talking. Someone shot fire. So we, I just have to end it here. I want you to know this is where it is. Pray for us. And God will keep us all in Jesus name. Can you stand up please everybody? That's where we stop today. Like I said earlier, only few men of God in the world can do what Prophet Joshua Iginla did in this video. It's not easy to come out to confess your sin openly. Only few people can do it. Only few men of God can do what he did in this video. I, I th this is the first time uh, of watching this video. I did not, I knew that he divorced, but I didn't know the details. I, I did not bother to research to find out why they divorced or why they did not di divorce. And I've not made a content about that before. So I, I was just going through YouTube and I came across this video. And honestly, I was, it brought like, I became very weak after watching this video and I said no, I need to bring this video out for us to see so we know that we still have re what we call real men because only a real man can come out to do this. Only a real man can come out to confess his sins in public. Honestly, this, this one, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say again about this video. All I will say is that May God continue to elevate Prophet Joshua Iginla and may God continue to use him mightily and greatly in our generation in the name of Jesus. We don't have men of God that uh, easily admit their, their, their errors and their fault. I, I have worked with a few men of God by the special grace of God and I can tell you only few will be able to do this. Only few will be able to admit their mistake and their error publicly. Most self cannot even do it privately, let alone doing it publicly. So coming across a video like this, oh, honestly, I I was I, I didn't know what to say. I sat down, watched the video to the very end, and all through while I was watching that video, I never made a sound. I was just shocked. I was just wild. I was totally dumbfounded. I could not even say anything. I was just listening. And I just, this is how I folded my hand. I didn't know that we still have men that are like this. Honestly. I, I, I don't know how many people can do this. How many people can come out to say, I did this, I did that. And that is why my marriage ended. And that is why I'm ending my marriage. How many people can do it? Most people, when they are divorcing, they blame their partner. The, partner, the wife will be blame, blaming the husband. The husband will be blaming the wife. He admitted his mistake. He accepted his fault. No, not everybody can do it. Some people will be saying, I, I read a comment under the video. I, and somebody said uh, he knew that uh, they will expose him. And that is, expose what? Expose what? Some people don't think, well, I don't want to be 
talking too much about it but i just want to say shout out to prophet joshua Igila. this is an old video actually but this is the first time i'm watching it so it looks new to me this is the very first time i'm watching this video to know that this man had the courage to do this it's well it's well i'm i'm not just going to be talking about this one too much because i don't even know what to say again about it honestly i don't know what to say thank you so much for watching the video please do have to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you'll be notified if you turn the subscribe i want to say thank you to you thank you for always stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel may god bless you may god reward you in the name of jesus when you call for one may millions answer in the name of jesus please don't forget share the video and also share the platform share with your friends and loved ones. god bless us to do so i will see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you your name is being written i am what i am by the grace of god as long as that grace does not fail satan will never fail. this revival you see will not be aborted